It's a beautiful day. Look, there's some, uh, some Gaelic over here, look. You might call it Gaelic. You'd be wrong, it's Gaelic. Let's climb up this little pathway here, which I don't think I'm supposed to climb, by the way. But nobody's yelling at me yet, so off I go. Welcome to Culloden Moor, just to the south east of Inverness, uh, but pretty much Inverness. And it's here on this moor that in 1746 there was a battle between the Jacobites, the last uprising in Scotland, uh, led by Bonnie Prince Charlie against the Duke of Cumberland's men who had chased them all the way back from Derby to this spot where they stood their ground, got themselves into position and went to battle. There is like a modern day visitor's centre here, quite unassuming, but at the top of it there's a nice little deck you can go on to if you want to go up onto a deck. When you get up onto the viewing platform, uh, there's the view. <laughs> For some reason, the best part, because the flags are there, they have these jutty out wall, this jutty out wall here, obscuring the view. Fantastic, well done. My favourite thing is turned up, of course. People. Whenever people turn up, I leave. You can see that on the roof of this little croft here in Culloden Moor. Um, it's not wheat or straw or anything like that. <laughs> Very Scottish in fact, very Scottish indeed because you can see it's actually Heather, whoever she was, she used to, Heather used to give her hair to all the Scots crofters so they could put her hair on, uh, on their roofs. Uh, Heather was a hairy lassie, made a fortune, millionaire. Anyway, over to where people got murdered. It would have been extremely difficult to handle the terrain here and uh, there were they were, it was working out, 5,500 Jacobites versus 7,500 of the Duke of Cumberland's men. And they just stood the ground, fired their muskets as the Jacobites charged. This unfurled and rather tatty red flag marks the line taken by, I believe, the Jacobites. And the line goes all the way down the length of that path. There's four flags. So they'd have gone all the way to the tree line and they'd faced off against, and you can't really see it, but there's one, two blue flags over there and they faced off against them. I'm kind of thinking it might be the other way around looking at the sizes, but um, I'm not really sure who is what and what is where. <laughs> but there was a bit of outnumbering going on, which isn't fair, but that's war. And uh, yeah, you got to bear in mind that the Jacobites would have been completely exhausted from marching back up from Derby on foot. And there wasn't, uh, you know, trains or roads or, you know, it was muddy tracks and it was on foot. And they were wearing heather, um, heavy tartans that when they got wet, they were soaked and heavy. And they had swords and shields. And it must have been an absolute nightmare. And on top of that, there would have been disease, there would have been hunger. Um, which just goes to show the pride in people's hearts to be able to come and do this last stand here. For a king who couldn't even speak, sorry, a king, a prince, who couldn't even speak English. <sighs> or I guess at that state, at that, in those days, it would have been Gaelic. I don't know, you tell me. Scots, probably. Argyle, Argyleshire, Argyleshire men stood here and uh, this was the line taken by the Jacobites, signified by the red flags. And you can come here and you can wander around. I quite like how they've done it. They've, they've not done anything fancy. They've not put up a little choo-choo train or anything like that for you to buzz around on. Beep beep, ice cream, Jacobite ice cream, Jacobite ice cream, albatross. They've not done any of that. They just left it like a sullen moor. A nice little croft in the corner there. And a rather unassuming visitor centre, which is fantastic. All part of the Scottish, is it Scottish Trust? 60 pounds a year if you want to get access to all of their 
all of their stuff. 60 pounds for one year, free parking. Might even get a leaflet. Well, I've just touched the very peak of the iceberg of the history of what happened here with the Jacobites. If you want to know more about Scottish history, you can tap it into Google, can't you? But uh, I always love visiting places like this. I'm from around here. As far as I'm concerned, I'm from around here anyway. I used to live in a little village just to the north. This is the closest city, Inverness. And uh, it's an amazing place. It's a global, a global <laughs> site of significance as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, by all means, feel free to support me on Patreon or by at least leaving a like and uh, why not subscribe and then that way I can get the channel to grow which means I can maybe get a bit more petrol to go further afield and make more videos like this for you while you're having your toast and your cup of tea what do you think about that? you click, I hike deal?